Good morning. It's day ten. Today we are leaving Jasper, and on the way we're gonna stop at the Columbia Ice Field. Afterward, we'll be going back on the Trans Canada Highway and continue our drive to the west. We'll make a stop in Redstock tonight, and tomorrow we'll be arriving in Vancouver. So one of our tests today is that if we can drive from Jasper to Golden, BC, in one charge. As there's no supercharger on the way, there is a slow charger in Lake Louise if we need to make a stop in case we don't make it. Today's weather is perfect. We finally get to see the much anticipated Athabasca Glacier. Our tickets were exchanged earlier with no issues or extra cost. Short stretch pile of rock and dirt, lateral one being on the side of the glacier. And this is really taking a nice turtle sprint. Everybody hands up, ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not ready. Ready, keep those on the wheel. Let's uh, attend to There we go. For a second there, that did get scary. Visiting the glacier is quite a one-of-a-kind experience. It is very cold and windy, but you get to drink glacier water and slide on a massive ice field. After getting back to my car, I realized I didn't turn off the sentry mode, and it captured 21 sentry events. Anyways, we got back on the road and just let autopilot take its course. Because it's a giant downward slope after the ice field center, the battery usage was very efficient at 122 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, so we made a stop in Lake Louis Village because I want a bubble tea. <laughs> now we're resuming our trip to Golden. And the distance from Lake Louis Lake Village to Lake. Golden is about 83 kilometers. And Tessa's map is showing when we get to go down, we'll still have 24% of battery, which means that's roughly about 120 kilometers. That uh, and my car currently is at 166. So that means my car will only need 46 kilometers to drive a distance of 83. Um, that's a little unbelievable. Skeptical. We're very skeptical as <laughs> it's literally like one mileage you can drive. To, you can get two miles out of it um, unless it's just like a big downward slope entire way to go that I am not sure how we're gonna make it but let's see it turns out it was even a bigger downward slope than the one after ice field center.
We are making a stop at Mount Revelstock National Park because there is a spot here to see which are the giant cedar trees. I read reviews online and uh, I'm a little looking forward to see them. So these two pretty trees behind me are the giant cedar trees. Look at how tall they are and how big they are. Um, I cannot pull my arms around it and then reach my hands. And according to the park introductions, some of the trees here are as old as 500 years. Okay, so we have arrived Revel Stock in BC and this is where we'll spend the night. We are heading out to find some food because we don't want to cook eggs and noodles anymore. <laughs> Good morning, it's day 11 and we are heading out for Vancouver. The drive in BC is so beautiful. Roads are curvy with up and down slopes. Along the highway, there are many places to stop and explore. Hope to return here with my Tesla again in the future, with plenty of time to truly immerse myself in the nature. So after driving 4,500 kilometers, we finally drove here from Toronto to Vancouver. 